All right, guys, so here's the two steering wheels next to each other. This is the new one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back today for another video. Today's video, we're going to be working on the WJ. Um, if you guys seen a while ago, I installed radio controls on my steering wheel. Well, I went ahead and I decided that I want to upgrade my whole steering wheel. Um, for those of you that don't know, obviously the, I think it's 2003 and 2004 Overland Grand Cherokees came with a wood grain steering wheel. I'm not a wood grain guy, so I didn't want that, but I wanted like the leather steering wheel. So in the earlier Overlands, they had a black leather and a gray leather. So I ordered a black leather steering wheel um, I don't know the condition of it yet. I'm waiting for it to get to my house. It should be there a little bit later. Um, it was only 45 bucks, so it might not be in the best shape. It might be in decent shape. I don't know. I won't know until the box comes in the mail. So I'm going to get that installed. I'm going to show you guys again how to wire the radio switches. I know a lot of you were interested in that, so I'm going to have to rewire it with the, the one that I just bought. So I'll show you guys that again. And um, yeah, so let's get that thing in there and uh, see how everything goes. I got to run to Harbor Freight and get a steering wheel puller because I don't have one at my house. Um, so I'm going to go do that now and then uh, we'll get the wheel tossed in and see how everything goes. And uh, we'll probably have to reprogram my uh, steering wheel controls again. So we'll get all that done and see what happens. Stay so tuned. guys, here's the new wheel. As you can see, this one's leather. It's got the stitching and everything as opposed to this which is just, you know, vinyl, whatever. So this has everything here that I'm gonna need. Switches are on the back for the radio controls and everything. Um, so if you're doing this, you're gonna wanna disconnect your battery. Um, this isn't hooked up, my airbag, because I have airbag codes, so I just have it unplugged. So I'm not gonna disconnect my battery, but if you're doing this, you need to, because this thing will blow up in your face. There's a possibility of it. So definitely disconnect your battery. Also another thing, this wheel is going to be a pain in the ass to get off. So um, I'll run you through it and uh, we'll, we'll get it off and get the new one on and we should be good. So to do this job, you're going to need eight millimeter socket, which is going to go in here. There's two of them, one on each side. It's going to remove your airbag. And then um, I'll show you guys the inside of the wheel. So let me get the airbag out of the way and um, show you guys how to get the wheel off. guys so i got both bolts out for the airbag you're gonna have if you have your airbag plugged in you're gonna have to unplug this connector right here just a uh you twist it and pull out to get it out this is for your horn you just squeeze it and should pull out of course it's gonna give me a hard time but it's supposed to just squeeze it and it pulls out i don't know what's going on with it few moments later there we go so that's your horn connector take that out put this somewhere safe don't drop it or anything you don't want it blowing up you know god forbid um so now we're gonna try to get the wheel off which is gonna be a complete pain in the ass i already know it because i tried to take it off once before and uh i couldn't get it so i'm gonna try to take it off and we'll see what happens you get your airbag off this is what you're left with this is your um i have two harnesses in here because i have uh the radio controls hooked up but we're going to simplify this harness i'm going to untape it and i'm going to do it nice but um you want to pull these two connectors out up here so this one right here and then this one you could leave this for your airbag um if you have a i think it's o2 to o4 you're going to have two connectors um, rather than just one, if you have an O2 and down, it's just going to be one connector. This is part of the reason why we have to rewire it because I have a 2001. So I'll show you guys exactly how to rewire it, exactly what you need to know, where to put the wires and everything. So let me get this off. I'm going to get this nut loose and I'm going to try to put a puller on here to pull the wheel off. So let me see what happens. So guys, this is a uh, 21 millimeter socket on my impact gun. You don't need an impact gun to do this. It does make your life a lot easier. So I suggest you use one. 
But if you don't have one, you could use a breaker bar or something. That nut's going to be very, very tight, especially if it's never been off. Mine's been off, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it's going to be tight. Just have some patience, get it off, and uh, I'll show you guys how to pull the wheel. <clears throat> All right, guys, so this is a two-draw puller it's from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 30 bucks for three of them. There's three different sizes. I'm going to put this on there, and uh, we're going to pull the wheel off, hopefully. So I'll show you guys after I get it set up how I put it on there and everything. Because most, most steering wheels will give you two holes for bolts, which you could use a traditional steering wheel puller. But this steering wheel particularly doesn't have holes like that, so... You're stuck using something like this so let me see if i can get this on there and um, i'll show you guys how i set it up and everything and then i'll pull the wheel off so just give me one second let me get all this set up and i'll show you guys what's going on all right guys so the the puller's on here this is how you want to set it up you want your arms behind that metal bracket over there so this this part of the steering wheel is all metal so you want to put the the arms behind it like that and then you're going to put a socket on here. Again, an impact gun's a big help here. And uh, you're just going to drive it off and hopefully the wheel will pull off. So let me see if I can get this thing off. And uh, yeah, so I never had this wheel off before. So this could be a disaster or it could come right off. I don't know, but let's find out. So guys, it did break loose. Thank you. Um, if you're doing this by hand, it's going to suck because I had to hit it kind of hard with that impact gun. But as you can see, once I actually break it off here, I promise you guys, it definitely did move. There we go. Okay. So now when you pop it off like that, you're going to definitely want to make sure you line this back up straight and don't turn your wheel. Don't turn your, your clock spring in here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. But just keep everything aligned how it was. Um, you don't want to spin that clock spring because there's a the, the wires go through there. And if you spin it, you're going to damage the clock spring. And I don't believe these parts are that cheap. So you definitely just want to be careful. Um, now is also a good time to clean behind here. Mine's absolutely disgusting. I'll show you guys in a second. But um, yeah, so let me uh, let me get you guys over here, show you guys what's going on how dirty this nasty this is there's like hair in there and everything um and then we'll get over to swapping the harness over wiring the radio controls with the o1 harness and then uh we'll get the wheel back on and program the stereo and everything and should be good so let me uh let me get this cleaned up a little bit so as you guys could see this is disgusting absolutely nasty as hell man so i'm just gonna go and uh clean it up a little bit so just going to drop it on my floor for now because I got to vacuum the inside of here anyways. Not entirely a big deal for me. But let me get this all cleaned up and then uh, we'll get to swapping the right harness guys, over. So here's the two steering wheels next to each other. This is the new one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be swapping wires in here. So this is the plug that you're after. As you can see, this one has two different plugs. All right guys, so I got the whole old wheel stripped. And if you guys haven't seen the video where I wired these radio controls, I broke that switch. So that's over there. So we're not gonna do that again, obviously. And um, yeah, so we have that piece there. And this is what your wheel looks like after you gut it completely and there's nothing on it. We're just gonna put that down there. Now we're gonna deal with this rat's nest of a harness. So I'll show you guys how to wire this up and everything. Um, this is two harnesses because of the radio controls. So I got to take two wires out of here. It's these two right there. I'm going to pull those out and um, I'm going to put this new harness. I'm going to unravel it and everything. And then I'm going to put this into that plug. So let me get the other wheel apart. And yeah, so to take this wheel apart, you just take these two screws out right there and right there and these switches will pop out you unplug everything and then this is just held on with clips right there you just push it and pop it out so let me get this one apart and um we're going to simplify this whole harness up so we just have the radio controls and uh then we'll tie these into that harness and we should be good to go so 
Let me get that done and I'll show you guys the finish right, product. Guys, so this is the back of the new uh, plastic from the steering wheel. I'm gonna take my old harness and I'm just gonna put it exactly how it is here. And then I'm gonna unwire this harness and I'm gonna take these plugs out, these two little ones and that one right there. So I'm gonna unravel the whole harness and make it nice. Because before I had two harnesses in there and it was just too many wires. So I'm gonna unravel everything. I'm gonna make it nice and I'll show you guys the finished guys, product. This is all we're after out of the new harness is this radio harness. It's got the two little plugs and the little plug up there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull the wires out of this one that plugs into the 02 to 04 clock spring. We're gonna pull these wires out and we're gonna put them in our old harness, which is over here. Um, I'll tell you guys what pins those are and everything in just a second. Let me get um, everything wired okay, up here. So here's the new harness, all wired up. Um, as you can see, I electrical taped everything, made it look like it's factory. Um, so on this connector here, this is the one that plugs into your clock spring. I know this wire is a little broken, but it's not broken all the way, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. But um, so four, pin four, it goes like this. Six is on the right side and one is on the left side. Pin four is gonna be red with black. Pin three is gonna be red with yellow. And those are the wires from your steering wheel controls. Um, in order to open this connector up, and uh, get the wires out and everything it's supposed to have a tab over there that one's broken actually um, so you see that tab right there on the corner right there that pulls out and this flops down and then the wires pull out so you just stick those in there get it all wired up as you can see everything is uh, through over here so that's how you want it and um, yeah so We'll get this onto the new piece and um, we'll get the steering wheel back in the Jeep. So the next video you see, I'll have the whole wheel back together and uh, we'll be putting it in All the right Jeep. Guys, so everything's wired up here. As you can see, it looks like it's factory, but it's not. So this is the O1 harness with the wires added. So this is the one you're gonna need for an O2 and down. Um, this is for your horn. And as you can see, I taped everything together, wired everything together. This way it looks more OEM than having two harnesses in there and a bunch of wires. So this should be ready to go now. And um, I'm going to go toss it in the Jeep and program the switches and everything and should be good to go. So the whole purpose of doing this isn't just because it's a leather steering wheel. You know, as you can see, it's got the stitching and everything like a leather steering wheel does. Um, this is also a reason too, if you don't have these, these are radio controls. Um, if you have a stock radio, these will work perfectly fine. If you have an aftermarket radio, if your aftermarket radio supports um, steering wheel controls, then you just program them like mine does, or you're gonna need a steering wheel control adapter, which you could buy from many places. You could just go online and look up and see which one you need. So let me get the steering wheel back in the car and um, get everything plugged back in, and we'll get these programmed to the radio and we should be good to go. All right, guys, so I got the new wheel up here on here. It only lines up one way. Um, you could put it either, like there's two flat spots, one at the top, one at the bottom, so you can literally not screw this up. Like it only goes one way. Um, I mean, if you're 180 degrees out, you'll know. Obviously the wheel will be upside down. So I'm gonna throw this on. You're only gonna be able to push it so far by hand and then um, you could drive it on with the nut. So I'm gonna get the nut started, I'm gonna tighten it down, and then I'm gonna plug everything in, put my airbag back on. I'm not gonna film that, it's the same process as taking it off. And um, then we'll see, make sure the radio controls work and everything, and we should be good to go. So let me get that tightened, let me get the airbag back, and um, we'll get to uh, programming the control. All right guys, so as you can see, the new wheel's in, nice leather stitching airbags back in the horn works everything works you know if i hit cruise control on see cruise control pop up down there pop off everything works fine we're gonna see if the radio controls work and um yeah we should be good to go so if you guys have a radio like this you can go in here or sorry my bad you can go into the settings 
in here and then it's in system I believe or maybe not just bear with me one second it's in here somewhere right here SWC steering wheel control and then you're gonna hit the button like that and then you're gonna press the button and it'll go solid when it's programmed to it um, I'm gonna program all my buttons so that's how you do it if you have a radio like this and um, then everything will work as it should so let me get that done and hey guys, just yeah. really quick if you're uh, <clears throat> if you're waiting for my leveling kit video I'm trying to get all the parts here unfortunately iron rock off-road decided that they were going to send me the complete wrong part my receipt says the right part they sent me a spring perch repair kit which if you guys are familiar with the wj you know they rot out you know they're a common issue in the front axle there so yeah it's good to have here but that's not what i need so i i do have my leveling kit right here these are just three quarter of an inch spacers and then i have the lower spring retainers which this is just a strap that bolts and it holds the spring down um i ordered uppers too which is like a tube that mounts to the, the upper spring um perch they forgot to send me that instead they sent me a spring perch repair kit which i have no use for because i already fixed mine but i mean if they tell me to hold on to it awesome i'm gonna hold on to it because they're a good thing to have you know laying around because they they do rot out pretty frequently so I'll see what they say on Monday when I give them a call, but the leveling kit video is coming up. Unfortunately, like I said, they sent me the wrong the wrong stuff, so there's not really much I can do about that. But yeah, so I'm waiting for that, and um, that's that's about it right now. Like I said, I'm trying to save for daily drivers, so I'm not trying to dump too much money into the Jeep at the moment. Um, I got to get a down payment together and everything, so see what happens. But thanks guys for watching and. Um, Drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts. And um, when you do the swap with the steering wheel, you can either replace the whole steering wheel, you can replace just the plastic bezel in the back, or you can use your existing wheel and cut out the uh, the bezel. It's completely up to you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch so you guys, I got everything done. Everything works how it should, radio controls and everything. So uh, if you guys are looking to do the swap yourself, it's pretty easy. Just gotta rewire a couple things and uh, it's up to you if you want to clean it up like I did. You don't have to. You could fit two harnesses back there. It's not a problem, but I wanted to clean it up, so that's what I did. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Really need a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so please subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's plenty more content coming with the Jeep. There's some content coming with my buddy's truck, and I'm looking to get a new daily driver, so there'll be content to come with that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Catch you in the next one. Peace.